All right, so here we have the uh, my RC Mart RCX SC 2205-2600KV motor. This was sent in by my RC Mart. Uh, thanks to my RC Mart for sending sample test motors. Uh, you know, so we can put them through their paces and check out the performance. So we can all see what they're capable of doing. Uh, this is, uh, I guess, uh, I guess you would consider it a, a budget performance motor, uh, considering the, the price point that uh, my RC Mart sells, which is usually, I think, these days is around. Uh, I, I, didn't, I haven't checked, but I think it's around ten bucks or just under ten bucks, which is quite a bargain, you know, for uh, for what you get. Uh, you know, the, these have known have been known to to perform pretty well. Uh, they they had their issues at the beginning, you know, uh, uh, some loose shafts and all that. But I think they've uh, they've improved on quality control. So again, you know, it's a budget motor, so uh, you gotta keep that in mind. But uh, so far, they you know they a lot of people like them. They perform well. They're they're very light. Uh, that's one of the things a lot of people like that they're light, and of course they're 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 cheap. So so that's you know those are the things to keep in mind. Uh, as far as the motor is concerned, uh, it does have a solid shaft, a three millimeter shaft. Uh, it's using seems to be they are curved magnets. Uh, I believe they're N52 magnets, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. You know, they're even in these budget motors, we're getting all these features that uh, used to be only on the premium motors. So that's you know that 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 should help uh, improve motors performance. Another thing they're also incorporating into their these uh, budget motors is the uh, thin laminations on the stators. Uh, uh, to the best of my abilities, I counted about 32 laminations. So for a f for a five millimeter stator, that that puts it at about 0.15 millimeters. So these are 0.15 millimeter laminations. The the they used to be 0.2 millimeter before you you know you were able to actually distinguish them better. You know they were thicker. Uh, so that you know that the thinner laminations help uh, also improve performance on the motor uh wire windings as you can see they're they're very neat actually uh, i mean they look really nice uh, it's a single strand wire uh bearings uh, they don't have a brand name on the bearing i can't see any stampings on the bearings uh but they're standard uh uh 3 mm inner bearing i think they're uh, they're eight millimeter OD outside diameter. I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's about eight millimeter outside diameter and three millimeter, so they're probably four millimeter uh, thick. So, uh, so you know, one of the things that also these are known for is that uh, serviceability. Uh, it's usually been easy to replace the bearings uh you know remove the remove the the shaft uh, retaining clip uh, these are one of the easiest ones to remove and uh, the shaft also they they've always had a uh, replacement shafts for sale uh now they're using they're using two set screws although the those are the very tiny odd size uh, allen set screws they're like 0.9 or something like that i i don't actually have uh, the correct size here with me right now but uh, uh those are sometimes troublesome to remove so uh but i guess if you have the the correct key and you're caref careful with it uh, uh, you can remove that anyway uh, looks like a pretty well made motor uh, let's hope uh, you know the, to the tolerances is, tolerances feel pretty pretty good 
motor has very good uh, feel to it. Uh, so you know, let's hope uh, when we have used these motors, they remain tight because uh, uh, for the price, uh, they're really a good, good bang for the buck. Uh, so results are on, coming up. Uh, check them out. Uh, let's see what this motor can do.